Welcome to another Agro Buzz feature, our weekly agricultural check in here on Sunny Side Up. Did you know that exotic fruit strawberry, the exotic fruit strawberry, is grown in Jamaica? If you listened last week, you would have. We've been talking about strawberries quite a bit, and we're going to continue today. Used in desserts, jams, ice cream, syrups, and so many things. It's a little wonder that demand for this fruit, especially in the tourism sector, is so high. It's called cultivated in areas 2,000 feet above sea level, and currently Jamaica only produces 10% of the strawberries consumed locally. That's why the Ministry of Industry, Commerce, Agriculture, and Fisheries is ramping up production of strawberries under the Production Incentive Program. And we've got farmer Lester Murray on the phone. He's going to tell us about his experience growing strawberries. Hello, Mr. Murray. How are you doing? Well, thank you. Good morning to you, and of course, good morning to all your listeners on FM 94. Okay, paint a picture for us. If we're if we were to see your farm, where exactly would we be looking? And and how? Okay. Mm-hmm. Firstly, the name of my farm is actually Adams Valley Farm. I'm located in Northwest Manchester, mm-hmm. and I'm actually located in the middle of 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 the mountain range, Ooh. and that's roughly 2,600 feet above sea level, overlooking St. Elizabeth. Oh, now I'm, I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it, and help me with the picture a little bit more. How many acres of strawberries are across that farm? Okay, well, presently I grow strawberry under protective covering, that is greenhouse, mm-hmm. and I have actually eight, 3,000 greenhouses growing strawberry. Mm-hmm. And so that is represent roughly a little over half acres of strawberries. Okay. But in the open field, of course, since the stocking density is much higher in the greenhouse, that would represent, that represent roughly a little over one and a half acres of strawberries. But what was it like as a strawberry farmer? Well, it is good. I mean, some years ago, about four years ago, I had this burning desire to get out of that mold of, of growing what all the other greenhouse farmers grow, that is bell peppers, tomatoes, and romaine lettuce. And so I did my research and found out that, as you said earlier, most of the strawberries from Jamaica, at least 90%, is actually imported strawberries. So I said to myself, if I could only grow this crop, then there would be a market for strawberries if I could do it and do it well. And so since then, I, have, I went to the field and started to learn to grow strawberries. And it's been good. How many pounds do you produce annually? Well, this is fluctuate. I actually plant what you call a day neutral variety, which tends to be better in, in the cooler months. So as the weather conditions change, it might be better. But in the cooler months, I probably average about five, 600 pounds per week. And in the hotter months, I'll be doing probably less than a half of that. So, pre- go on. Yeah, so, uh, so weekly, in the, like in the summer months, when it's much hotter, then I, my, my production is all so probably just under 50%. How has the production incentive program helped you? Well, very well, and well. I'm probably the, the, the largest strawberry farmer presently, and of course, probably the, one of the most practical knowledge of growing strawberries here in Jamaica now. And so I was actually contracted to produce seedlings so other farmers could have seedlings to plant so we can settle the market together. And so I was given a contract then to produce seedlings for these farmers, which I did last year. But not only did I benefit but by producing the seedlings for other farmers, but I was actually one of the beneficiaries as well, chosen to expand the production of strawberries in Jamaica, and so that I have done, I was able to add another host to my operation in terms of strawberry seedling to the product and incentive program. We like it, we like it, Mr. Murray. Good job so far. We're wishing you all the best with the the growing of strawberries and all the other things that you have on your farm, and we want to thank you for chatting with us this morning. Okay, and 
Thanks so much for having me. Let's have a great day now. Our pleasure. There you have it. Strawberry farmer Lester Murray sharing with us his experience in growing strawberries. Did you know that a strawberry revolving project was started last planting season where 23,500 plantlets valued at $3.5 million were given to farmers who are expected to return twice that amount of plantlets? Let's continue to support our farmers by eating what they grow as they grow what we eat. And for information on what's happening in the agricultural and agro-industry sector, please visit the ministry's website at mycaf.gov.jm. Follow them on Instagram, Twitter, check out on Facebook, check them out on Facebook, and join us next week for another AgroBuzz.